Miners live together in, in family groups known as clans, and it's a matriarchal society. There's, there's an elderly or old, well-experienced female in the group who is in charge of this group. And males are treated less important or submissive to the females. The point that the females have got two different levels of rank, high ranking and low ranking. Same applies to the males. Males have got high ranking males and low ranking males. That it's so intense and females are so dominant that even the lowest ranking female is treated with big respect to the highest ranking male in the group. And that is well reflected by the size of their body. They've got high testosterone that they have got quite huge bodies and that's all to show how dominant they are to the males. Yeah. And in a den like this, with several babies, um, you can see different sized babies and that shows how many females could have come and dropped their babies in there. And it's highly likely that each and every individual baby inside this den could possibly have its own independent mother. With the cannibalism behavior of the pups when they're young, females and young ones showing um, dominance from a very early age, um, and an incident where females will actually kill their little brothers at a very young age, that mostly allows a female hyena to usually be able to raise one pup at a time.